Three Reasons Why You Should Systemize Your Online Business In this presentation, I'm going to show you three reasons why you should systemize your online business. Many new entrepreneurs believe that by working harder and putting in more hours, they will be able to create a successful business. While this is partially true, the real key is to work on your business by creating replicable processes and building them into systems. Adding real systems to your online store isn't something that you can afford to put off any longer. Here are three compelling reasons why you should systemize your online business today. Gain peace of mind. When you systemize your business, you gain the ability to better focus on the activities that will allow you to grow your business. Creating and documenting the processes that run your company will provide you with the opportunity to focus on the essential aspects and provide you with the peace of mind that everything will still run like clockwork even when you aren't there. Gain more freedom. By having a structured, recorded system in place, you will be able to provide all your new trainees with a manual for running the business and completing their tasks. You will no longer feel the need to hover over them or have to answer endless questions about how they should approach a job. This allows you to focus your time and energy on the activities that will enable you to grow your business, letting the system train your new employees. Increase saleability. Creating a turnkey operation with a clean, clearly documented system in place makes your business extremely attractive to potential buyers. When and if you decide it's time to sell your business, you can hand the buyer an operation that runs smoothly and efficiently. Providing a potential buyer with a neatly typed binder with the systems clearly documented is a lot easier to sell than the memory of your savvy administrator. One of the most famous corporations that use employee systems within their business are McDonald's. Their highly efficient systems have allowed them to speed up the time customers wait for their orders without adding to their staff. Taking the time to create more sound systems for everything in your business will pay off in the long run. Systemizing will allow you to become more productive and provide you with the time to focus on what really matters, growing your business. How to save yourself time by systemizing your online business. In this presentation, I'm going to show you how you can save yourself time by systemizing your online business. You may have thought that when you started your online business, that you would have more freedom and time to do things you wanted to do instead of working. Unfortunately, this is not usually the case. The truth is that running a business requires much work. It doesn't have to be this way. By systemizing your business, you can start finding more time in your days and concentrate on enjoying your life. The systems you implement should help you do the following. Automate. A majority of online business owners have specific tasks that they are doing manually that can be automated. There are a ton of business functions that you can automate to help save you time, as well as improve your business. For example, if you spend all your time pinning all your Pinterest pins in real time, spending hours every week to gain traction, you need to consider automating this task. Several tools on the market can help you do this. For almost every job that you do throughout the day, there is probably a way to automate it. Outsource. If you find some of your tasks can't be automated, then you need to consider whether or not they can be outsourced. To determine what functions you can outsource, Take a look at these activities that you are doing on a daily basis. If you are focusing all your energy on unimportant tasks like responding to emails or sending out invoices, you are effectively stunting the growth of your business. If you have the money to invest in outsourcing some of your tasks, it could provide you with huge rewards in the growth of your business. Batch Creating systems is nothing more than saving time and scaling your business. Because if your business can run smoothly without you, you have the potential to see significant gains in the growth of your company. Batching means completing similar tasks at the same time every day. For example, on Mondays, you may write all your blog posts for the week, while on Tuesdays, you prepare and schedule your social media promotions. Batching similar tasks together into a systemized schedule will allow you to get more done in less time. There are a ton of tasks that you can outsource and automate, allowing you to scale your business and save time. Get more done in less time by creating and implementing systems in your business. Four areas of your online business that you can systemize today. Systemization of your business is about consistency, ease of use, and saving you time. While there are tons of places in your business that you can build processes around, these four areas can make a substantial impact and are the perfect place to start systemizing today. Client processes. The processes that you have for interacting with your clients is by far the best one to start systemizing today. Your client interactions need to be as organized as possible if you want to be a successful business owner. By creating robust systems to help your customer service and engagement processes run as smoothly as possible, you can begin to build trust with your clients. Bookkeeping Bookkeeping is the money management side of your business. 
It starts when you receive money from your clients for your products or services. Accounting can be extremely complicated and varies state to state and country by country. When it comes to your income, you have to have a way to track it as well as your expenses. This can be done through a simple Excel spreadsheet or you can use one of the many software programs available today. Content Marketing If you have a blog and an email list, you can quickly create processes for handling your content marketing tasks. This will require you to create an editorial calendar based on what you want to share and how often you want to develop resources for each area. Create a checklist that shows you the steps you need to take from topic idea to finished product. Social Media Marketing You can effectively systemize your social media marketing efforts. Much like your content marketing, you have to determine what you want to create and establish an editorial calendar. Instead of wasting time every day with ensuring your content is posted to the appropriate social media channels, you can utilize scheduling software to systemize the process. Along with having a method in place for creating the post, you also need one that will help you maintain engagement. Every business is unique, and you have to find what works best for you. The biggest mistake you can make when it comes to systems is thinking that you don't need any. Implementing systems in your business are what will allow you to grow your business. How to systemize your business using Google Docs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to systemize your business using Google Docs. You've worked hard to create a profitable online business. You have a great team of employees who know what's expected of them and perform at a high level of standard. When you're available, your business runs like a well-oiled machine. But when you're away, it's a different story. You can't blame your employees. Your problem is you don't have systems in place that outline what to do and when and how to do it. Putting systems in place to help your business run when you aren't available is as easy as starting a new Google Doc. Here's a step-by-step -step guide for using Google Docs to systemize your business. Step 1. Your most reoccurring tasks. Before you begin creating systems for your online business, you need to identify all your daily and weekly tasks and obligations. To do this, open a new Google Doc and list every activity you're responsible for. Then, next to each activity, write down how long it takes for you to complete each task. Next, organize the list by how long it takes to complete. Finally, go through each point and determine if it is something that you can delegate. Step 2. Decide on a directory structure. Before you start documenting your processes, you ideally want to create a well-organized hierarchy of folders in the Google Drive. This allows your employees to quickly know where to look if they need to know how to perform a task. A good rule of thumb to follow is to organize folders by departments. Getting this correct will allow you to build a solid foundation and never have to worry about disorganization. Step 3. Document your processes. Now you're ready to begin documenting your processes. Unfortunately, this is the most time-consuming part of the process, but well worth it when you have to onboard new employees in the future. To accomplish this, you will need to create a new Google Doc for each of the processes. Be sure to give as much detail as possible, listing each step that is required to complete the task. To make the process easy to follow, make sure to include screenshots and annotations to highlight critical areas of importance. Step 4. Ask an employee to perform the task. Now you will take the time to test the effectiveness of your documentation. If you're going to delegate the task, ask the person who will be performing the job to complete the work using the documentation you've created. If questions arise, it means that the system wasn't thorough enough and needs further explanation. If this happens, you will need to go back to make the necessary improvements of the documentation. Once the changes have been made, go back to the person and ask them to perform the task again. Step 5. Continue to improve. Your documented processes will never be right the first time, which is okay. Once you have an excellent working draft in place, all you have to do is continue to make improvements along the way. Your employees will begin to find ways to improve the process, making each draft better than the one before. Systemization is an essential part of a business. Having documented processes in place will ensure that your business will continue to run smoothly even if you aren't there. How Systemization Can Help You Grow Your Online Business In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how systemization can help you grow your online business. When you run your own online business, there is never a shortage of things to do. For every task you complete, there are four more to add to your plate. You often find that you don't have the time or energy to focus on the bigger picture. This is where systemization can help. Visualize your future. When you begin to think about your long game, it is essential to take the moment to visualize where you see your business heading. This can be in the next six months, year, or five years. You won't be able to begin systemizing your business and moving it forward until you can establish the direction that you're headed. 
Identify your processes. Your first step is to identify the tasks within your business that are reoccurring. Those tasks that take up precious time from your daily and weekly routine. These tasks are perfect for systemization. Taking the time to think about your daily operations will allow you to recognize the jobs that are repetitive. Here are some of the tasks that are common and perfect for systemizing. Preparing and sending invoices. Bookkeeping. Customer support. Preparing and sending an email newsletter. Preparing project proposals. The list will vary from business to business based on the way things are done. Start documenting. Once you've identified some of the business tasks that can be systemized, you will need to start documenting them step by step. These procedures will become the backbone of your company and will serve as an operating manual for new hires. When recording the systems, you need to be as detailed as possible and include every step, sub-step, and explanation. Make your procedures visual. No one wants to read pages upon pages of text documentation. That's why it's incredibly important to break up long blocks of text with visuals, like screenshots and videos. These can add clarity to each step of the process. Delegate tasks. Once you've created the documentation, execute the procedure yourself by following along with the documentation you've created. This will allow you to confirm that you haven't skipped any crucial details or steps. Once you're sure the document is correct, you can start delegating these systemized tasks to your staff. With the library of process documentation that you've created, you've built a successful machine that can run itself, allowing you to focus on the activities that are necessary to continue to grow your business. Four reasons why your business should embrace systemization. In this tutorial, you're going to learn why your business should embrace systemization. At first, business systemization might not sound too exciting. The word probably conjures up images in your head of assembly lines and robots. If the idea of systemization makes you think of Henry Ford, you're in for a pleasant surprise. At its most basic form, systemization is about creating a process for handling a task that you do over and over again and finding a streamlined way to accomplish it. Here are four reasons why you should embrace systemization in your business. Reason number one, make your clients happy. Having a streamlined client experience will result in happier clients, more recommendations, and repeat business. To make sure that the client experience is the best it can be, run a quick audit on the steps your clients experience from their first contact to the end of the project. This will help you identify the systems you need to develop to deliver results on a consistent basis. Reason number two, create a more efficient team. Providing your team with well-documented procedures will increase their productivity. When your team can follow a reliable, streamlined process, they spend less time and energy on their tasks. Systemizing your business processes will also decrease the chances of mistakes. Reason number three, create built-in quality improvement triggers. Documenting your business processes helps to spur people into action to find ways to improve it. Seeing the steps written down on paper forces our brains to challenge the inefficiencies and gaps that we discover. The improvements will continue once you document the procedure. This improvement process comes built in with systemization because once the steps are established as a process, people will automatically want to optimize it. Reason number four, increase creativity. Creating a checklist to systemize your business processes allows you to remove the drudgery of repetitive tasks that tend to waste time. The functions that can shortchange the more creative efforts that are needed for your business to thrive. Rather than spending creative energy on the mundane tasks, Systemization allows you to save your brain power for figuring out new ways to connect with the world. Systemizing your online business allows your team to become more flexible and gives them the opportunity to unleash their creative power. When you can free up their brain power through systemization, they can focus on applying the talents you hired them for in the first place. Common systemization mistakes you need to avoid. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you about the common systemization mistakes that you need to avoid as a business owner. As an entrepreneur, your business will begin to expand to the point that you will no longer be able to be directly involved in the day-to-day -day activities. To move into the next phase of growth, you will need to create systems that will allow you to focus your energy on growing and improving your business. However, there are many mistakes that you can make when first introducing business systemization. Not doing research yourself. As a small business owner, you might have an idea of what it means to systemize your business, but you may not have worked in an environment that includes multiple automated business processes. It is essential that you don't just hand over the process to a management consultant. You need to understand how the process works. You need to understand what your business needs to be successful and generate more profits. Not planning. 
When embracing business systemization, take a few days to formulate a plan. This plan will need to include identifying routine activities and tasks, the standards that you expect at the completion of each operation, the philosophy behind the actions, the people responsible for carrying out the activities, a template for each step of the activities, how you will review and improve the process. Doing too much at once. Trying to design too many systems at once will leave you overstretched as a business owner. The first thing that you want to work on is creating policies for the processes that happen most frequently. Don't waste your time right now focusing on procedures for activities that only occur a few times a year. Focus your time and energy on daily activities that cause problems and frustration. Start with small activities so you can become confident in documenting and testing systems before moving on to more complex processes. Not communicating with your team. It is essential that you fully inform your team about the changes that are taking place with the business processes. Your team will be more supportive and more involved if they understand the benefits to the business and them personally for systemizing. These common pitfalls will quickly derail the progress you make in systemizing your business. Putting stable systems in place will make your business run smoother and increase productivity among your staff so you can focus on continuing to grow your business. Five steps for systemizing your business. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the five steps needed to systemize your business. When it comes to systemizing your business, the first place to start is on the front lines. These are the people who are answering the phones and dealing with the paperwork. They are the ones who know what does and doesn't work in the business's daily operations. Determine who the right people in the company are to help you develop your systems and sit down with them to outline each process from start to finish. Step one, determine the what and why. After you've determined which options need to be systemized, you need to determine why these activities are being performed daily. When you and your employees understand the point behind the tasks, it can help to clarify the value of each job. You also need to discuss what kinds of things they need to perform each function. This includes physical items as well as esoteric stuff like signatures from management or buy-ins from other departments. Step two, appoint an owner. When you've determined the what and why of your business operations, you need to appoint an owner to each task. This will be someone who is ultimately responsible for seeing the process through, no matter how many people are involved. You need to grant these people the authority to push the process through, no matter what his day-to-day -day role is in the company. Step three, get everyone to agree. This is a step in the process where you need to get everyone to agree on the new system. End your systemization meetings with a discussion on the new system and determine if there was anyone who has a problem with the new process. Give your employees a chance to talk about their concerns and provide suggestions to improve the process. Step four, document, document, document. Once you've agreed to the new recommended process, it's time to make sure that it is clearly documented. It is imperative that you be consistent throughout each process by trying to use the same terminology and structure throughout. When your systems are laid out in the same way, it will be much simpler to adopt all the policies across the board. Step five, communicate. The final step for systemizing your business is to communicate the new processes to your staff. After the original documents have been delivered, check in with the stakeholders to see if the new systems are working. Whether you're running an established business or you're just starting, putting systems in place to handle the day-to-day -day tasks will make your business run smoothly and increase productivity among your staff. Five signs you need to implement systems in your online business. In this presentation, I'm gonna show you the five signs that you need to systemize your business. The road to becoming a successful entrepreneur isn't an easy one. The amount of work it takes to keep the business running can quickly overshadow your passion. Here are five signs that you need to systemize your business. Sign one, you feel stressed and overwhelmed. If your to-do list seems never ending and you have no time to enjoy personal life, it may be time to look at how you're doing things in your business. Putting systems in place can help save you a ton of time and energy so you can focus on the things that will help grow your business. Sign number two, your business isn't progressing. If it seems like your business has come to a standstill, it's time to start systemizing the tasks that can occur on a regular basis. There are only so many hours in the day, and if you feel like no matter what you do, you can't seem to find the time to expand, then you need to systemize. Sign number three, you've become inconsistent. When you start forgetting about essential meetings or forget to send out invoices to your clients or can't find the time to follow up with prospective clients, then it's time to start implementing systems in your online business. The more inconsistent you are with your actions, 
the higher the chances are that you are letting potential clients slip through the cracks. Sign number four, you don't have a consistent flow of clients. This is a direct result of not having a system in place to ensure you have a consistent flow of new clients to work with. If you are continually finishing a project only to find that you don't have another client waiting in the wings, then you need to start systemizing your business. Sign number five, not treating your clients as you would like to. When you become overwhelmed and exhausted, you are unable to provide your customers with excellent service. It comes through in your energy level and how you respond to clients. If you can relate to any of these warning signs, then it's time to start implementing systems in your business to decrease your workload and increase your productivity. With strong policies in place, you can spend less time working while increasing profits. Five practical ways you can start systemizing your business now. In this presentation, I'm going to show you five easy ways you can start systemizing your business today. When you optimize your business operations, you can grow your company and increase your revenues more smoothly. Having systems in place can help you quickly and seamlessly scale because they provide you with a proven structure that works. You can turn your business into a more productive, efficient, and consistent machine by following these easy ways of systemizing your business. Determine the functional areas of your business. Systemizing everything in your business at once can be a daunting prospect. The best way to tackle this is by breaking the process down into more manageable chunks. To start, create a list of all the high-level areas in your company that could benefit from systems. These could include sales, product pricing, etc., marketing, social media, lead generation, SEO, operations, front and back office, teams, management, HR functions, money, income and expenses. Identify the areas that have the most issues. Using the list you just created, determine which areas are using up the most resources regarding time, energy, and money. Those are the areas that you should focus on first. Look at areas where you always get pulled into matters that aren't the best use of your time and concentrate on fixing those areas that are causing inefficiencies and that are wasting your valuable resources. Access the current systems. After you've determined the areas in your business to systemize first, begin to create a master list of subsystems for that category and assess each one individually. Determine if the system is good, broken, or missing. A good system would be something like a standard database listing all your product vendors, an end-of-the-day closing checklist, or your paid time off procedures for your employees. A broken system is where only one person knows that a particular system exists, or where multiple people are following their own policies. A missing system is a gap that leads employees to create their own process because none currently exist. Only document procedures when necessary. You don't need to document every process in your operations manual. You are creating these systems so you can simplify, not overly complicate your business. Use common sense to balance the documentation with implementation. Keep things simple and only document the most critical and complicated processes in your business. Repeat the process. Continue to repeat the process until you have systemized the most critical and complicated procedures in your business. Some systems that could make a significant impact on your company's structure are product launches, product delivery, email marketing, project management. Putting systems in place will put your business and personal life more at ease. While it takes some implementing effort on the front end, it will be well worth your efforts in the end. 